bought a DJI Spark and you want to go faster. So I'm going to quickly go over the steps that are needed in order to adjust the parameters. First thing you're going to do is go to this website. I'll have it in a link in the description below. All right. That's going to be your home base if you get lost. It's this list that I have in front of me, basically. Next thing you're going to do is download and install DJI Assistant 2. So once you have done that, you can go ahead and pause the video now and I'll be here when you're ready to continue. Okay, so hopefully you have done that. And then what we're going to have to do is edit this file. Now in order to edit that file, you have to have the permissions. So we'll go over that step when we get there. Um, that way you're going to be able to actually save the adjustments that you make. So first thing we're going to do next is go to applications and basically go into the app files. Alright, so once you go in there, it's going to look like this. Find main. It's going to be a .js file. Right click it. And you're going to have to open with WordPad. Alright, don't use regular Notepad. I don't know why. I guess I'm guessing it doesn't work. So you can use Notepad, Notepad++ or WordPad. Once you're in WordPad, hit Control F, put in Open Dev Tools, and then find Next. All right, you're going to find it right here. So then all you do is delete the two slashes in front, and then you save it. Now remember, I said in order to save it you have to have the permissions. If you can't save it, you need to get permissions. So just right click on main, go to properties, go to security, and make sure that the profile you're using has all of the permissions. So mine defaults to this creator owner, which as you can see has like nothing in it. So I made sure that I changed my users tab to allow basically everything. Um, the way I did that is I clicked advanced and I changed permissions and I edited it and I just clicked the ones that I needed. Alright, so we'll do that one more time. Click advanced, click on change permissions click on edit and then do all those and click OK and you'll apply all that and then you're going to be able to save it so that's important um, that nobody really covered in any of the other videos this is very briefly touched on once you save it you can close it I'm not going to save it because I already have it saved then So basically now your DJI Assistant 2 is ready. So when you go ahead and start it, well, that's a terrible sound. Alright, so you'll notice this is on the right side. So what you need to do is change this line, debug, double click it, hit 1, and then hit enter so it saves. This one, type in true, hit enter, and now you're ready to turn on your spark. Alright, so the spark's powering on, and it's going to show up in the top left here. There it is. So now when you click on it, 
you're going to have all these other options. If you don't change those correctly, it stays zero and false or whatever, you screw something up, you're not going to have all these options. So if you have all these options, go ahead and hit parameters. You don't have to log in to anything. Just click on parameters. And now's the fun part. The website that I directed you to in step one will have the parameters that you should adjust. Um, most of the ones that I adjusted were the only ones for sport. That way it adjusted just the values for that. Um, if we want to look all right, here you'll see the Sport Plus mode. These are the ones that I used. Um, 40 is pretty good. I found that the, the highest I can move it is to 60. And at 60, I got it to go 40 miles an hour. Um, I will see if I can get it to do that again. Um, I believe I was going with the wind, but we will see.